In this tutorial, you will learn how to correctly set up hardware inserts with your RME interface. For starters, insert effects are inserted directly into the signal path of an audio channel, thereby changing the whole sound. Most common insert effects are EQs and compressors. For this demo, we use the CL EQ1 Stereo Equalizer. To create a stereo insert effect in Total Mix FX, we need an analog stereo output channel from the RME interface, which will transmit our dry signal to the stereo input of the hardware effect. After the processing is done, the wet signal will be sent back from the output of the hardware effect to one of the stereo inputs of the RME interface. Let's begin the installation by connecting analog outputs 5 and 6 of the Fireface UCX to the stereo input of the hardware effect. Next, we take the stereo output of the EQ1 and plug it into analog inputs 5 and 6 of the UCX. Once this is done, we can open up Total Mix FX. Notice that I created a channel layout beforehand. This allows me to hide all the channels that I don't need in this particular session. If you want to learn more about channel layouts, click on the link in the upper right corner. In Total Mix FX, we can mix and route our session hassle-free with no latency. On the top row, all available input channels of the UCX are shown. The software playback channels in the middle represent all the available channels that I can assign to my DAW or any other audio software on my computer. On software playback channels 1 and 2, I have some loops coming from Ableton. On the bottom row, we find all the available analog and digital outputs of my RME interface. It's important to understand that outputs in RME interfaces are far more than just conventional hardwired signal paths. Every output can have its own individual input channel combination, or as we call it, submix. This flexibility is the reason why so many professionals rely on RME interfaces. Once you understand the advantages of this routing system, you can build every studio setup that comes to your mind. As you remember, we plugged outputs 5 and 6 into the input of the hardware equalizer. All channels routed to submix 5 and 6 will therefore pass through the hardware EQ. If I now want to EQ a single sound, I just select the submix 5 and 6 and raise the channel fader of the particular sound that I want to edit. As soon as you move the input channel fader, you'll notice that the return channel 5 and 6 on the top row receives an input signal, indicating that we successfully created an insert. In order to hear the processed signal on your headphones or speakers, go to your control room, select the respective control room submix and turn up the return channel fader. You can also solo the insert channel for a better overview. To record the processed signal, go to your DAW and select channels 5 and 6. That's it. This method can be applied to all channels in Total Mix FX, which, once you understand the principle, will boost your creativity. Then, no matter what sound source, digital or analog, it can all be processed directly within your RME interface. And to top that all off, every mix can be saved in a snapshot, making it easy to switch between different mixing and recording sessions. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you want to learn more about our interfaces, watch our other videos and let me know in the comments what topics you would like to see next time.